hello from Salzburg, Austria. Now for me, this has been kind of a bucket list location. We did not think we were gonna make it here, and so we are excited to be here. We just took a day trip from... Yeah, we're taking a day trip from Munich. Mm -hmm. It was really easy Very to get easy. here. We took the Flix bus to get here. It took about an hour and a half on mm -hmm. the bus. And then we switched buses to the city bus to get to downtown, the historic district where we're at right yeah. now. And it was incredibly easy. So easy, yeah. So now this location, not only is it absolutely known to be beautiful, but there's a couple cool things about it. This is where Sound of Music was filmed. Now, I don't think this is probably a big deal for Brian. My favorite movie. But for me, I have watched this movie so many times, so I'm excited to see some of the locations where they filmed it. Now, we are not going to talk about Sound of Music through this entire video, but I will give you kudo points if down in the comments you can put the location of certain spots where the where the film was done. So. <laughs> Brian's, Brian's gonna be cool. I have no idea. Like, no, he won't yeah. have, have an idea. <laughs> So the first place we are going to go see is the castle and it is hard to miss <laughs> because it's right in the center of town and you can see it when you're coming in on the bus pretty much. So we are gonna go and hike up these stairs because <laughs> that's true uh, bride and carry fashion, but there's also the cable cars. The cable would cars. have been a great idea, <laughs> but we need to get exercise. That's what we're gonna do. Yeah. So we're gonna head up these stairs. There's like 380 of them. I have no idea have how no many idea. stairs and we're not gonna count them. <laughs> Now you do pay to get into the castle grounds. You can't just walk around the grounds. As soon as you get to the top of the hill, it was 1080 euro each to get in. That does include your ride down. So I'm sure we'll be riding yeah. down. And you know, as far as getting up here, mm -hmm. the first 100 meters or so was steps. Mm -hmm. After that leveled out, it was no problem. Right, and then yeah. it was just an incline, yeah. so uh, anybody could do it. But honestly, if you're gonna pay, uh, you might as well just get maybe the round trip You may as well ticket. get the round trip ticket, <laughs> yeah. Now we are typically not big fans of paying to get into things, but for viewpoint alone, this is really pretty. Yeah, it's a, it's a $10 and 50 euro view just mm -hmm. to come up here and look at this. So this yeah. is basically free. The rest <laughs> of the stuff you have to pay for. But yeah, this is really nice. Yeah, this is well worth it, well worth the hike. There are other museums that you can get into when you get up here with your basic ticket. Mm -hmm. Those museums cost more, right. except 
for Puppet World. It's so far the one we've World. had, yeah, Puppet World. Yeah. So they had the Von Trapp family there. It was very cool. And <laughs> I mean, sometimes I feel like a string puppet, so I can relate. Oh, that's interesting. to go down right now. It's actually really easy to get on. It's not busy, which is surprising, honestly, yeah. this time of year. So we will see. Mr. Heights here, how he's going to do. Oh, yeah, I think I'm going to be all right. This, this is pretty sturdy. So it moves really fast going down. <laughs> so fast. <laughs> I didn't have time to get scared. It was so, so fast. So maybe get tickets on the way up get too. Tickets on the Probably way up a good too. idea. Yeah. Okay, now there are times that Carrie and I choose not to do some something that costs eight to ten euros, right. ten to twelve dollars. Just any paid entry. Any paid entry, we kind of shy away from because we don't think there's going to be value. This was ten fifty to get in. And 10, it had value. Yeah, ten eighty euro. So. Yeah, ten eighty euro. Okay, so well worth it and we would do it again absolutely worth yeah. it one thing that we would point out if you have any level of mobility issues yes. even if you take the tram up to the top you are still going to struggle to get into some of the things that you're going to want to see there were a lot of stairs there were a lot of stairs you can see some of the main uh, the, the views and stuff like that yeah. but going up and down those stairs uh, it, it, might be a it little was even hard for carrie We are now in St. Peter's Abbey. This is really one of the places they say to come and take some time and go through the back. It's a cemetery area, but it's very beautiful. It's got all the cast iron and stuff. Yeah, and just looking up to the hillsides and where we were just at, up on the castle, it just hangs over this whole thing. And mm -hmm. it's it's pretty breathtaking, honestly. Yeah, and uh, from what we're seeing so far, it's free to get into, at least the gardens are free to get into. Okay, I was just saying sometimes we don't do things because we don't think you get the value. It costs two euro to go up and look out over uh, the, the commissary here. Mm -hmm. And we're choosing not to do that because we think it's cooler to look at it right. than look out of it. So Well, and we were also just up at the yeah. castle, which was an overlook of everything. So uh, we kind of feel like we did it. But if you're not going to go up to the castle, that would be another lookout point for you. There you go. Good, good thinking.
Now the Salzburg Cathedral, which is right here in the center, you do pay to get into that when it was five euro. Now another option when you come is there is a Salzburg card that you can purchase and that gets you into the majority of the things, the sites that you're gonna wanna see when you're here. It also gets you the transportation around town. It's quite affordable. This time of year, it does vary the time of year you're coming. This time of year it was 30 euro. For us, because we only have a few hours here, yeah. we weren't gonna be able to make full use of it. We've got a lot to do in the yeah. next couple hours, so we can't talk on camera. We need to get going. We gotta go. We gotta go. So this is the birthplace of Mozart, and this is the square, his square right here, where we have a statue right behind me. Now we're gonna walk down and we're gonna take a look at the house he was born in, and then there's the house that he moved to when he was a little bit older as well. We're not sure if we're gonna find that one, but we will show you the house he was born in. So another little fun fact of Salzburg is, it is known as the beer capital of Austria, which uh, if you know us at all, that is a major plus. It is a major plus. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to bring you as much food and beverage from whatever region we are in in the world. And beer is the region that we're in. <laughs> so we're gonna partake and show you some of these breweries. Now, Stiegel Brewery is outside of town, so mm -hmm. you can't quite get to that without taking an Uber. We or just bus, don't have yeah. time or a bus. Mm -hmm. We don't have time for that. But there are plenty of taxi cabs throughout town. That you can get to a number of the breweries that are right here in the city. Right, and there are 11 of them to count. So we are not going to make them to 11 We're today, but we are going to go into the one that's right behind us now. And it's called, I believe, Die Wise. Yes, I'm not sure. That was it. <laughs> Okay, we got their wise beer, which is very good. The color is beautiful. And then we got uh, some appetizers that we were so hungry, we ripped into them before we had a chance to put them on video. But then uh, we just got the basic uh, pretzel and uh, rye bread, traditional Austrian food. Okay, now really great brewery. Try and get up there if you're coming. It's only maybe a 10 minute walk from Old Town. Those two beers, the pretzel and the bread, came to a total of 13.50 euro. Try and get up there, it's, it's well worth your walk. Now we are here at Mirabelle Palace, and this is a location that I for sure wanted to see while we were here because of the garden grounds. It's supposed to be absolutely beautiful, and if you get just a peek of it from behind me, you can see what I'm talking about. Now, there is a palace I believe that you can go into as well, but what we were really interested in is the garden. So we are gonna walk around and check out all there is to see.
All right, it was time for some real food. One thing that's really cool is that uh, they have a lot of little food stands and stuff if you like your bratwurst, your dogs, your, uh, and we just got these bacon and cheese sandwiches, more like prosciutto. Yeah, more prosciutto. like prosciutto. Yeah. The uh, bratwurst place was closing, mm -hmm. so we missed out on the brats, but uh, I'd say these are just as tasty. Yeah, these are fantastic. These were 5.90 euro each, so a little bit more, but you know, when you're in these touristy towns, you're gonna pay a little bit more. It'll fill me up. So today for me goes down as definitely one of the top days. Uh, what an absolutely gorgeous town. Yeah. Austria, just in the two places we've been have blown us away and we are excited to come back and explore more. Unfortunately right now this is all we could do and we kind of had to force it in a yeah, little bit. Yeah, no, if we could have stayed for two nights we would have. There are things to do outside of town that we just didn't have time to do. But what a fantastic day. Yeah. Um, we highly recommend coming if you can. If it's a day trip from Munich, do that. It doesn't cost that much and you won't regret it. No, and just kind of for a note of how much time we were here, we arrived around 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. and we, or about, I guess, 9 a.m. and we are leaving at 4. We could have extended till later, but unfortunately those buses were full. So, uh, you know, we felt like we saw all of it. So, we, or we saw, we saw most of it. We saw all yeah. we could see in the amount of time. Yeah we have but we did not feel rushed so no. that's great yeah so stay tuned for our next week's video because we are oh. heading to italy oh. italy yeah. stay tuned for italy we have a month and a half in italy so don't miss that we'll right. see you next week cheers, cheers.